good afternoon i'm just um mucking around doing some stuff for this um subscriber inspired journal that i'm making um emma gave me a really good idea uh, about the images she said leave the images until the end because you might not want images and i thought actually that is very sensible so i'm not going to put images on the front cover as yet i'm just emptying out all the stuff that i've got so far I've just sort of gathered some bits and pieces. Um, I'll show you what they are. This folder thing that I made where I keep like projects in, it's blooming marvellous, so handy. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so that was the images that I got back there. I just So we'll hold on those. I'll put those back in. Um, but yeah, all the other bits and pieces, I just thought I'd run you through. You can see what I've done. Um, do we need those yet? We might do. I don't know how long this video will be. It might be a long one. It might be a short one. I don't know. You gonna come out? That's cute. Yeah, I've done a video on how to make this folder actually. If you want to do one, so. But yeah, they are very good for gathering when you're gathering stuff so <sighs> Got bits everywhere so I found some really grungy gel prints I did a load of stamping on some um, craft colored card um, and I thought that would be quite nice to use throughout and these are the same quite grungy images that's on a gel print yeah I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna decorate this yet I'll be honest with you so nice dark grunginess that needs stuff doing to it actually i think it's too yeah it's too big um okay well, we could fold yeah we'll do something with that um oh i found this these are hot food um containers basically and i thought it'd be quite nice because when it's done it's a folder oh it's not there. um oh, stay still when it's done i thought i could put it in there so it's got a protective sleeve seal up the bottom so the journal is sitting there so yep so that's that that can go back in the folder because i don't need that yet let's put you in there so you're safe uh, right so i've done two signatures let me show you the rest of the bits and bobs so i've cut out the heart and some other shapes as well I've kept that because they make quite nice pockets or just page decoration. I don't know. We're going to mess around. We're going to make stuff. Yeah, another grungy, another grungy. This is some handmade paper that I did with the journal to inspire. So I've got some bits left over because there's a bit in the actual signatures. I just want to run you through all this first and then um, let me make some room. Right, so we've done all those. Uh, yep, I've got a bag. I might put a bag in, I might not, I don't know yet. I did make an envelope, which obviously needs grunging up. Um, I found that, and that came from... Was it Jelly Belly? I don't know, I can't remember. Um, these are Artie Mays. They're on her... They're freebies um, on her Facebook group. I think she's got them on her website as well. And they're little coin envelopes. And I thought they were super grungy. So I thought they can go in. Um, I've got a piece of coffee dyed paper. Might go in, might not. Don't know, haven't decided. And then yesterday I did some staining of laces and stuff. I think this one. Yeah, that side. Um, and I laid it on paper, stuck it out in the garden, and um, yeah, I've ended up with a really nice grungy paper. And that's one that I sprayed, that was underneath this one, so that leaves a lot more darkening. And then I sprayed these, which is like a tissue paper, um, with the Distress inks. So that's gone nice and dark and grungy. This was like a really dark pink to start with, but it's gone this interesting sort of orangey colour. So, I don't know. That's it. You're up to date. Yep. So I've done the laces. Um, I found some of my faux washi that I've made ages ago, which is just um, double-sided tape. And I think I gel printed on tissue paper or um, wax paper. I can't remember what I 
printed on but I thought they would look work really well that might work well as well well as well um yep so I'll show you the envelope another dark yep show you these have a nice light let's move all those out of the way uh, yep. and I've got some hessian which I've just found which is a nice dark green but I think I'm going to add some black paint to it just to really grunge it up um, yeah, it's only a little journal. I don't know if it's gonna, all this stuff's going to fit, but we'll try. Let's see what we can do. So let's move all that out of the way. Let's move you over there. Right. So for the, um, these are the tattered flowers, the Tim Holtz ones. So again, this was gel prints. Um, I don't know if they'll fit in actually. They're quite, oh, they will do. Yeah, they'll just fit on the page. Okay, yeah, so, um, you know, they're just flowers, basically. And you can do whatever you like with them. So that's those. I've cut two lots, one in brown, one in blue. Um, yeah, I think they need more gunging, uh, grunging, rather. <laughs> gunging. Uh, right, that's that. Um, yeah, I cut out a um, the B out of the um, Tim Holtz um, Sizzlet, Sizzlet, um sizzlets and that's the hearts you saw the other so nice and dark and grungy metal bits you've seen and that thing you've seen as well oh and I did a bug I like that bug um what's the name bohemian crafting has done a cracking I need to watch that again actually I can't remember what she made I think it was a journal or something and then I got the 8x8 Tim Holtz um I don't know what it's called um, I didn't get that out. Hold on, let me grab it. So I can't remember what it's called. Oh, I don't know where it is. It's buried in my paper pile. Anyway, it's a Tim Holtz one and it's got all of his, um, like his grungy papers and stuff. I'm going to cut things out of these. So uh, I've already backed them with double sided tape. So I've got some ready to go ephemera. Maybe not for this. I was going to cut flowers and things. I don't know. Uh, yep. Yeah, so anyway, I had a piece that um, was nice and dark. So it's already got the double sided tape on. So I did some stamping. I think you can just make them out. So they are very dark. And I thought that would make a nice pocket. And some more stamping here. And they're just like little, they're going to be little page embellishments and that kind of thing maybe do some snippets or something i don't know it's all very much i don't know <laughs> oh they're bits out of uh yeah when i cut the hearts i cut that yeah anyway i'll explain those later um i kept the negative uh, yeah the negatives i couldn't think if that was the right word but it is uh, again because i think they make really interesting you know you can put it in as a or a side tuck or something back it with something i'm sure you know what i mean i can't think what the word is i found some quite dark images um not sure about these they were just sort of hanging around in a book so i might use them i might not but they're nice and grungy well they will be when i'm finished with them and again the uh negatives of the flowers uh what else did i find really grunged up did i make this that looked like something i made i don't know where it's come from anyway it's paper um yeah the leftover bits i must have made them because i i've made these i remember making these and more coffee dye paper right sorry i'm going on a bit aren't i oh that's just some bits we've got that is probably not all going to fit in this poor little thing let me um Right, so that's those, put those over there, let's move you there. Right, so this is the two signatures so far, I split it into two signatures, I think I need to spread them out a bit, that one feels like it's got a lot more than the other one. Um, this is the cover so far, I've just gone for texture, okay, so these are all cut out bits of paper because I'm thinking I'm going to gesso it, alright, and I've lined it with some random bits of paper um yeah but again i think i'm going to paint it all so 
these fit perfectly in here okay and there is room for it to expand a bit thank goodness because i think we're going to end up putting quite a lot in there too i need to paint that yep so i found some really nice dark grungy messy um gel prints and i've uh, torn them to size as you can see i need to work on the backs because they're white um but yeah that up the wrong way it needs to go that way up because that will do my head in otherwise uh yeah so quite grungy ripped papers and um, that's the sizzix die that i chopped out windows and things another gel print some punched papers another gel print coffee dye coffee dye i haven't i haven't arranged these properly yet um and i found i don't know when i made this but it's tracing paper and I've obviously coffee and tea dyed and rust dyed on top of it because it's got all sorts of texture going on there so um, yeah I need to sort these signatures into a better layout and then this one again papers again cut out uh, grungy grungy another bit of that paper torn and battered poor thing but you know that's what we're going for another piece um, Sizzix die cut again gel print uh, yeah again I need to work on the back of these and yeah that's it really so that's the two signatures so far I will mess around with the inside though one of those is really long which one's that you isn't it you you're too long or are you yeah you are okay i'll turn that back um yeah so i thought i'd get you up today i thought i would um paint this um these are stuck on for texture because they're really thick um scrapbooking stickers eyes as you can probably see um and yeah i might stick on some of this um hessian or burlap i, I think it's hessian or but i don't know is there a difference i don't know <laughs> Uh, so we'll paint that and then uh, see how time goes and we might start sticking in some elements um, but I'm hoping this is kind of going grungy enough for everybody I mean a lot of this I need to work on the backs because that's the gel print obviously so what do you reckon all right so far I think it's going the right direction could be wrong and very handily I didn't get my gesso out so I'm going to pause you for a sec while I get set up for a bit of messy painting won't be long right we're ready <laughs> are you ready to get messy <laughs> so i've got black gesso i thought i'd mix in some of these while i'm at it um i don't know what color that is emerald green i think it's called but they're quite you know quite nice dark uh paints that's the word <laughs> so i'm just gonna Start off with black, I think, and then um, add the other colours as and when. So, I'm hoping they are going to work as texture, those stickers. I'm sure they will. Okay, I think I will switch to a brush. Enough for you. <laughs> we'll get it, just get right over that, I think. What we need to do is rub some bits back. Oh no, that's dried. That's not rubbing back. Okay. Yeah. 
I like gesso, but it can be a little bit, especially this black one, a bit fierce. <laughs> it's like, nope, I'm on, that's it, you've had your chance. I just want to go in with some of these. Come off, thank you. Off. I've got to start doing some more gel printing. My uh, my paints are drying out rapidly. So was taking over everything. Let's get a clean brush. Whoa. <laughs> Gosh, that gesso dried quick. This will all be kept as collage fodder, as you can imagine. Uh, blue, there you are. Lovely blue, I love that. It's ultramarine. Better off just splodging. Let's splodge. And if we don't like it, we can always go back over it again. It's as simple as that, really. Definitely dark. And I'm going to put some of those rusty paints on there as well. So hopefully that will really. Um, but yeah, you're getting some. I don't know if you can see the texture coming through on the paint there. You can see it coming through. It's very wet now. So yeah, cool. Um, I might wait to do the inside. Great. Let's put that up on the windowsill to dry. I'm gonna do some of those papers, I think. All right, hold on. Pull the blind. Um, I need something to put it on because it's just gonna go everywhere. Right, 
see it again in a minute. But next time. Right, okay, make them dry. I might, I don't know what colour to do the inside. I might just sort of do this again, basically. Okay, 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 okay. So, yeah, some of these need some work. So let's do that while we're here. How wet are you? Oh, I haven't done the burn that part either. be fine. Don't matter if it goes on the outside either. I'm not wobbling you. I don't think I am. Grunge. <laughs> yeah, a little bit went on there, but another. It's fine. No idea what I'm doing. I am just literally kind of seat of the pants job here. I've never made grungy journals before. I like it, um, but I've never tried it before. So um, you're watching this first here with me. <laughs> you might look at it and go, "Oh, take my name out of the pot. I don't want to win," <laughs> which is fine. Okay, one. There's the others. Yeah, I'm going to go on these with some stenciling and stuff like that, I think. They don't need too much, but these gel printed ones do. You do as well, I don't need that. Come out. We'll rearrange all those anyway, so I'm going to put them back over there. Let's get them all out and ready. Any more for any more? Yep, any more. Right. Okay, let's get some more paint because we now run out. Blue, but no black. Oh, crikey. Oops. Oops. I know a lot of people will ask why, why, how are you going to work on black pages? Well, you can use white pens if you, you know, if you use them to journal on. So, you can still work on them. That was too much, Jesse. <laughs> I know. Oh, we're just going to obliterate it, aren't we? Oh, well.
gesso is very, very intense. You can't say that's not grunge. might leave those actually and um, we'll put something else on there as well I'm gonna run out of room <laughs> I know this already right let's cut a bit of this um, hexagon Well grunged. I wonder if we can use that to print. Hands are going to get filthy anyway, so. Ooh, that's interesting. You're nicely grunged, so let's pick you up in the window with the cover. Finding places, oh, the yuck. Finding places for it to sit with, um, without it covering everything. Uh, with black paint. Oh, so messy. Good job I'm not one of these precious ones with beautifully done nails, isn't it? Oh. I think me and Andrea would work well together, Artie Mays, because she gets like this in the end. Uh, that's fun. It's all the fun. Right. That's very, oh, actually, we'll keep that. Yeah, we'll keep that. That'll make a nice... Um, something this poor little thing is going to have so much stuff in it it's not going to be able to open or close right um and blah, 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 blah. i'm just wondering about some stencils now i think we've got enough for you so i say it's going to end up with so much stuff in it um what do you reckon Yeah, I don't want it all mega black, so let's just I'll keep that there as a paint palette. Could 
gel print it actually, couldn't I? Oh, crikey, sorry. Which one would I need? It's not going to be wide enough, are you? No. I'd rather do it in one go. Right, quick gel print insertion. <laughs> clamshell packages they're great but <sighs> oh, getting your gel plate off sometimes is a bit of a workout um getting very up. sorry I'm not organized at all get my little hot rod much mess we can make shall we I think I'm gonna stick with these three colors though just a tiny bit of black oh I was gonna get stencils wasn't I? <laughs> blue where did you go right there. we'll just do this one without a stencil for a minute Let's see what it looks like. Okay, we'll leave that one. It's fine. I might turn some of this black down with some white gesso just to sort of make it like a, a deeper grey because it might be a little bit too dark. But um, who knows? Who knows? that's a plan actually I think I might do that is just tone it down a little bit a bit of the old white gesso because that is very dark <laughs> although fun I've never used so much black in all my life quite interesting isn't it but yeah I'm just sort of thinking I don't know am I going too dark might be well as I say it's not a problem we can always print more papers so if they've gone too dark. In your opinion, I'll let you have your opinion on this. Tell me if I think 
if you think I'm going a bit bonkers here. I might just calm it down a bit. Um, That's a bit more like it. Prefer that colouring. I think they might be a bit too intense, don't you? Especially that one. I mean, that's like a midnight sky, that one. But. I don't know. It's dried. I think I think I prefer that kind of grunge. Maybe I'll just um do a tea um a tea wash on the side here or, or water down the um I've got the uh what's it called? Uh, vintage photo distress stain stain over there so um I wonder if I could enough actually. I've got some white gesso here. Um, that might be a bit, a bit, a bit of a big blob. run out sheet down uh, uh. <laughs> okay I'm going to just sort of risk it here just calm it down a little bit actually picking up the bubbles on the mat on the um, glass so in your face midnight is it and this one definitely needs it I might just go 
I need some texture tools. Right, bear with me. Because I'm doing a half hearted job here. Come to the rescue bubble wrap. what it needs I hope you agree it needs that right okay I'm quite liking the bubble wrap effect let's make it consistent I'll just do the other another couple <laughs> must get a bigger bottle it just saves me getting my big tub down lord only knows how long this video has been running if it's forever, I do apologise. So, if we do the same again. We'll stick that one down face first. And then we'll put you on top, and then you can have. Uh, sorry, <laughs> have the paint. It just gives it a little bit more interest, doesn't it? And it just takes away. I mean, it's gesso, you know, it's going sort of semi transparent anyway. So it's not like you're losing a lot. So that'll, that'll go quite transparent actually as well this but we got some interesting red where did red come from <laughs> must be on there yeah so they'll go semi not as dark as that anyway um not as light as that rather You're still wet, so I'll put a little bit on you. And you didn't pick up anything. I quite like that one. Um, a bit of grey going on there, so let's see if we can pick that up. Nice grunge. It dries so quickly. like that one I'm not sure about that one I like that one now oh we've got another one to do I think once that's dry I like that one it's still very wet and that is the one we've just done again very wet we can always add more so yeah and I'll go around with the brush again I think actually and uh, hit the hit the um, edges so 
Um, let me see. That's probably just like forever. Yeah, 45 minutes. Right. Okay, so the cover is dry. So I'm envisaging that being the front. So, yeah, it's got some nice texture. So I'm going to put the rust dyes on there. And then we might paint the inside. I need to stick that back down. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's it so far. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going right here or not. <laughs> Is there a right and wrong for, uh, for grunge? Probably. Right, that's it. I'm going to leave you there. Um, I'll carry on, do a few more bits. Um, I'll put some white on there. I might use a different texture tool now. Um, and on that one, I think I need, yeah, I'll we'll put some different texture on those three. Okay. I'm waffling. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.